Hello honorable members of the class and let's go back to the Nokhaten High Court which resumed after 30 minutes of break for Mr. Ngumalo to be able to send uh, uh, court records to Mr. Gomezulu to have a look at them because he's been summoned to come to court tomorrow so that he can make arrangements about um, whether he's still going to be on sick leave or whatever the situation might be. So the court already also got, got up and said, no, I have been sending Mr. Gomezulu records out of my the kindness of my heart. Judge Rata seemed to be a little bit shocked about that, that you are a human being. You did that to, I mean, the questions were quite interesting, I must say. But he said, yes, definitely he's been sending Mr. Mgome Zulu um, a court records so that he can be abreast about everything that is taking place in court. Uh, I don't know what Mr. Baloy was saying. I tried my level best to make sense of what he was saying. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was trying to defend the point that uh, it took a court orderly to do that instead of uh, the state doing it. I don't know if the state should be doing it or not. I don't know, guys. I have no idea how all these things work. But Mr. Gomez Zulu is summoned to court, sick or not. He must come, even if it means he is carried to court. That is what Judge Rata said. And then uh, he kind of like this time around said, even if it means we do a virtual hearing. I was like, now that is humane. That is indeed humane instead of saying, whether he's been drag kicking and screaming, okay, did not say that, but it sounded like that to my ears. But anyways, um, Mr. Um, uh, Baloy then told the, the court that actually, no, it wasn't, no, it was Mr. Ngumalo who says, eh, no, Mr. Um, Gomez Ulu has been following the proceedings, including this morning's proceedings uh, on some other platforms. And then Rata was like, yeah, he's watching the YouTube. YouTube is not a, a, a an official what, not what. And then he's like, and then YouTube also has commentaries and all that nonsense. Wait, guys, don't get offended. It's an English expression as well to say all that nonsense. It could be something really, really good. You could go to a very beautiful wedding or a beautiful event or something beautiful happened or something good news. And then when you are discussing with your friends, like, oh, I went to this wedding, everything was just great and all that nonsense type of situation. Not that it is nonsense, YouTube and YouTube commentaries, because if this is what he says, then it means he is violating section 16 of the constitution, freedom of expression, because you know, you and I who do a uh, commentary on this particular case, this is our constitutional right. And uh, we have opinions. And our opinions are indeed enshrined in the constitution of the republic and we do always say that we are not experts around this case all we are doing we're using our brains when we hear something that doesn't make uh, sense then we make commentary about it so don't take offense it's just an english expression it's an english expression yes i'm defending rata on this one in case you feel a little bit offended don't be it's an english expression i use it all the time as well if i've gone somewhere and i'm like oh and, and, and that nonsense that doesn't mean it is nonsense in its literal form all right so, so don't get offended guys i do and i know small minds the 30 percenters will come around and say yeah you guys are not oh relax it's a it's an English expression. Maybe if you did ink, okay, never mind. Let's continue. Um, I will just give you the clip, guys, of what transpired towards the end of today. Anyways, then there was a request from the state that uh, the matter be uh, uh, stood down or postponed until tomorrow when Mr. Mgobe Zulu comes to court. And Judge Rata is like, what? There's nothing I can do but to postpone the matter until tomorrow 10 a.m and that's exactly where we at we are postponed until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m so that mr Mgomezulu comes to court but mr Ngomalo announced that actually mr Mgomezulu said he's going to be in court just like i thought i thought that he will be in court anyways uh if he is being summoned like this and he's going to sit through it even though he may not be feeling well he will sit through it uh the cross examinations now the question is Will he be the first one to cross-examine or it's going to be the arrangement that was initially made that Mr. Ramosipili will be the first one all the way to Miss um, Shololo and then Mr. Mgome Zulu at the end. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how everything will turn out tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm glad that Mr. Mgome Zulu is coming back. I mean, I'm really, really, really glad. And also, that means my 
other feelings as well may actually be wrong, which I'm glad I am wrong. I'm talking about Mr. Muzi Sibia and Mr. Mgume Zulu's payments. I'm glad that I'm wrong on that one. So great. I'm, fa I'm fabulously, okay, I'm fantastically happy about that. Did I just say fabulously? It'd be like, we're not on some runway. Come on now. We, this is not a fancy show. This is a trial. <laughs> I, I, I have the other channel where, anyways, you, you'll come across it someday when YouTube recommends it to you and then you'll understand why I use the word fabulous. <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, here's the clip and I'll see you next time with a new video. Goodbye. Just a correction. Brigadier Gerinda started testifying on the 17th of October. 17th of October? Yes. Not the 10th? No, no. The 17th. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. sorry, my registrar says he gave Mr. Gininda records. As from which, which date, sir? No, 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 no. Go and stand there so that they can see you saying it. Now you are whispering. You <laughs> come and say hi. He has the records. From the 7th of So you had a discussion with Mr. Gine uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gomez Zulu about the record. You. How did you? You just did it out of the blue. Right. So you did it out of your own volition. So you gave him the record as from the tenth, the seventh, up to when? Okay, so it's not like he's not aware what's happening in court. Well, of course, he must read the record, we know that. So, what are you saying, Mr. Baloy? 22nd, 22nd. Yes, we have the running record up until the 22nd of October. 22nd of October? Yes, 22nd of October. Okay. And my learned friend, Mr. Numara, will apprise the court that he did indicate that he's following the case on. on other uh, YouTube, media. YouTube. Yes. If you watch YouTube, you can watch it, but it's not a record of these proceedings. Yes. Because uh, they have commentators and all that nonsense. Yes, that's that's true. <coughs> that's true. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Numa. Might, might not be about him following the, the, the proceedings on YouTube. Was about today's proceedings. Yeah. He said he was listening. He was watching today's proceedings, so he knows what what was going on. Yeah. It's a kind of easy call. So that is a, this is the problem, you see, because the client agrees that uh, this should happen. Now the persons who are assisting Mr. Mgomezul are saying, hey, maybe, hey, they have a half a mandate, a quarter mandate. Now me, I'm, I'm supposed to be neutral. If you're telling me that uh, Mr. Baloi says, his client says it's okay, I take it you have discussed it with your client. Now, if Mr. Baloy subsequently says he is not certain whether the mandate which he is being given by Mr. Mkumezulu is it a full mandate or not, although it, the client has agreed to that mandate to be extended through to Mr. and Ms. Mr. Nisi and yes. his colleagues, it may jeopardize the sittings because we are not sure now. So that's why I say it's better for Mr. Mgomezulu to come here tomorrow, even if he's sick. Yes. Unless if he can't walk, yes. fine. Then we can arrange a virtual hearing. We can arrange a virtual hearing. Ne? Yes, but uh, as Mr. Mumala will apprise the court. He indicated that he will be here tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs> but Mr. Mumala, have you have you, you have undertaken to send him 
the records from whichever date up to today? Yes, my dad, I do have the record from the 7th of October until the 22nd of October. So I'm going to forward it uh, to him. I've got okay. his email address. All right. I, I see he was also CC'd, my dad. Yeah, I, my, uh, my register says he yes, also sent yes. him the record. I see here on my email. So okay, CC'd. that's all. Yes. Yeah, fine. Okay. Yes, Mr. My dad, may I, may I stress that he did agree that he was going to be here tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow morning. And uh, before I could raise anything, he said he was following the proceedings on YouTube, so he's aware of what is going on. Okay, today. fine. Thank you. Okay. Unfortunately, then we'll have to adjourn because I'm in the middle. Yes. Yeah. That was also the suggestion of my colleagues, Malo, that we stand down until tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, uh, until yeah. Mr. Gomez will is here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Sorry about this. So we'll adjourn until tomorrow at 10 then.